Love you too. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep, I will. Okay. Bye. That was mom. We got to talk about SolidWorks Ultimate. SolidWorks has been offered in three major tiers of functionality for nearly 20 years now, with SolidWorks Premium being the most capable of the three. This is the version that everyone knows and loves. It comes with all the bells and whistles, including advanced surface flattening, routing tools for pipes, tubes, and electrical, and built-in simulation tools. Of course, these capabilities are in addition to everything included with the Pro and Standard versions, making Premium the undisputed champion of SolidWorks CAD for nearly two straight decades now. It's been branded as the CAD solution for the true power user who wants to be able to design anything and everything. But SolidWorks Ultimate is here to claim that title. So what's it include? How does it work? How is it licensed? What about the 3D experience part? Is it worth the money? And most importantly, should you get it? We know you have a lot of questions about this new edition and we'll be doing our best to answer all of them as comprehensively as possible in this video. Everyone ready? Let's do it. First things first, we need to talk about the three W's of SolidWorks Ultimate. Why was it created? Who was it created for? And what does it include? We'll have more information on each of these subjects individually throughout the video, but this section will give you a high level overview of SOLIDWORKS Ultimate, and you should be able to determine pretty quickly if it's worth it for you to explore further. And if it's not, you can get back to building your Solid Professor portfolio. So first, let's talk about why SOLIDWORKS Ultimate was created. And this is going to require a history lesson, but we'll try to keep it short. Back in July of 2024, SOLIDWORKS began rolling out what they called cloud services for all new licenses of the software which essentially bundled several 3D experience cloud tools together with the CAD software that we all know and love. SolidWorks Ultimate is a natural extension of this idea. It's essentially an even bigger bundle of tools that starts with SolidWorks Premium and the cloud services we just mentioned, but then also includes additional browser-based tools for things that SolidWorks Premium can't do on its own. These browser-based tools are simply referred to as apps, and these apps are then grouped into roles, which are essentially just groups of related apps that serve a specific purpose. I bring this up because if you do any additional research on this subject, you'll probably see a lot of information on both apps and roles that can get really confusing if you don't understand the difference. SolidWorks Ultimate provides several unique roles, and therefore several apps, that run on the 3D Experience platform and extend the capability of SolidWorks Premium. Think of it like having a bunch of cool add-ins for SolidWorks, but the add-ins run in your browser rather than inside of SolidWorks. Essentially, SolidWorks Ultimate offers a way to access several cloud-based design and manufacturing and analysis tools without requiring each of them to be purchased individually, which would be very expensive. It's effectively the most capable version of SOLIDWORKS now, but the SOLIDWORKS part specifically is the same as SOLIDWORKS Premium. As far as who this is for, you can probably already tell that SOLIDWORKS Ultimate is absolutely built with power users in mind. If you're the type of person who's using SOLIDWORKS every day and you're doing a little bit of everything or a lot of everything, or you want to be able to do everything should the need arise, then Ultimate may be the best choice for you. If you're a current user of SOLIDWORKS Premium and you feel like you're pushing the limits of the program or if you feel like you could benefit from more advanced simulation or manufacturing or PLM tools, for example, SOLIDWORKS Ultimate provides all of these and more for a relatively small price tag. On the other hand, if you're a casual user, this whole premise goes right out the window. If you're just viewing CAD models or doing basic editing or drawing reviews or simple tasks like that, then SOLIDWORKS Ultimate is very likely going to be entirely overkill for your needs. This also applies to engineering and design students and those of you who are new to SOLIDWORKS. If you're just learning how to drive, you want to start with the Ford Escort, not the Ford GT. There's a super cheap version of SOLIDWORKS for makers, and there's a student edition available for those of you who aren't working commercially. And both of these versions are just as good for learning SOLIDWORKS as Ultimate is. So be sure to go check those out. 
I'd like to reiterate once again, especially for those of you skipping ahead from the beginning of the video, that SolidWorks Ultimate is essentially SolidWorks Premium with several additional capabilities added via browser-based tools on the 3D Experience platform. Nothing about SolidWorks itself is any different. And if you need a quick review of the differences between SolidWorks Standard, Professional, and Premium, we'd highly recommend taking a look at the product matrix that compares the capabilities of these three tiers. We've already mentioned a handful of these capabilities, but they can be sorted into five categories. The first category is design tools. Ultimate offers several browser-based design tools beyond just SolidWorks. And these tools do in fact run on the 3D Experience platform in your internet browser. Applications for 3D CAD, sheet metal, weldment structures, and even mold making tools are available. Now, if you're an experienced SOLIDWORKS designer, you might be asking yourself why you should care since SOLIDWORKS can already do everything that I just mentioned. But in some cases, these browser-based tools can do things that SOLIDWORKS can't, like converting an extruded boss to a cut feature in the XDesign app, or a subdivision surface modeling in the XShape app. So even if you're a diehard SOLIDWORKS fan, you may find some of these to be pretty useful. The second category is simulation tools, and while these tools may look familiar to SOLIDWORKS Premium users, at first glance at least, several additional simulation study types are included with the structural designer role that you won't find in other versions of SOLIDWORKS, at least not without a paid add-in. These include structural, frequency, thermal, and more, along with some other key benefits that we'll discuss later on, like cloud computing. Third, we have manufacturing. There's a couple roles included with Ultimate that fall into this category, but the most capable one, Shop Floor Programmer, includes multiple apps that allow you to program parts for manufacturing via machining, laser or water jet cutting, or even wire EDM. And these capabilities actually exceed those of the SOLIDWORKS CAM add-in found in other versions of SOLIDWORKS. This allows for greater manufacturing flexibility with just a single license. Next is what SOLIDWORKS refers to as cloud immersive experiences. And basically this is a collection of tools that help people understand your designs better, whether that be through photorealistic renderings, animations, or interactive documentation for product assembly instructions, user manuals, etc. There's a couple different roles included with Ultimate for these types of applications, and cloud rendering is also available should your graphics card be lacking. And finally, we have PLM tools, which for some users will single-handedly justify the upgrade to Ultimate. These applications provide tools for a variety of data management and collaboration functions, from maintaining complex multi-CAD assembly structures and bills of materials, to scheduling and planning tasks and projects. Importantly, these tools stack on top of the existing collaboration tools offered by SOLIDWORKS Cloud Services, resulting in a much more comprehensive PLM solution than any other version of SOLIDWORKS. Now, if you've made it to this point and nothing I've said so far has been even remotely interesting, that's okay. And honestly, that's probably good news because it likely means that you don't need to upgrade to SOLIDWORKS Ultimate. That being said, if you have any questions about the specific capabilities or licensing options for the various versions of SOLIDWORKS, we'd recommend reaching out to your reseller or asking in one of the available 3D Swim communities, or checking out the various courses available here at Solid Professor. We've got lessons covering almost everything related to SOLIDWORKS, and our library of material on cloud services and on 3D experience is constantly growing. Like all great flagship products, there's two different types of SOLIDWORKS, the desktop version and the 3D experience version. As of recording this video in March of 2025, these two versions are basically the same, but there are a few differences that might affect which you'd prefer to buy. First, the user interfaces between desktop and 3D Experience SOLIDWORKS are essentially the same, and the tool sets offered are almost identical. Both the desktop and 3D Experience versions come with browser-based CAD apps, simulation and manufacturing tools, immersive experiences, and PLM tools, which we briefly discussed earlier in the video. But almost the same isn't exactly the same. So what's the catch? Add-ins for PDM and SOLIDWORKS CAM come with the desktop version of SOLIDWORKS Ultimate, but not with the 3D Experience version. That being said, these add-ins still work with the 3D Experience version if you choose to purchase them separately. 
It's also important to remember that both versions get access to cloud tools for data management and manufacturing, which may be suitable replacements for these add-ins for some users. On the flip side, the 3D Experience version comes with Visualize Professional. This is a rendering program for your CAD models that can produce photorealistic animations and interactive content. The desktop version only includes Visualize Standard, which doesn't support animations or interactive content, but can still produce static rendered images. That's really all there is to the difference in terms of what you get between these two versions. However, there are a handful of other behavioral and compatibility differences that are worth noting between the 3D Experience and desktop versions of SOLIDWORKS. Both desktop and 3D Experience versions of SOLIDWORKS are installed locally on your computer, but 3D Experience versions are always kept up to date through the platform, so you're always working with the latest version. In many ways, this can be a good thing, but if you need to collaborate with a customer who's running an older version of SOLIDWORKS, for example, this can be problematic. Part and assembly configurations are also treated a bit differently, instead utilizing what are referred to as physical products and representations in 3D experience versions. This has some implications for file management as well as toolbox components, which are forced to use the option to create new part files rather than configurations when new fastener sizes are created. And speaking of toolbox, support for add-ins is also different for 3D experience versions of SOLIDWORKS, including Ultimate. Add-in support is constantly evolving, and today most add-ins are supported, but not all of them. And honestly, which add-ins work and which ones don't will probably depend on when you're watching this video. So if you're unsure, check with technical support through your SOLIDWORKS reseller or in one of the online 3D swim communities. And just know that if this is a big concern for you, the desktop versions, including SOLIDWORKS Ultimate, are still perfectly compatible with all the add-ins that you're used to. SOLIDWORKS Ultimate also features a unique licensing structure compared to standard pro and premium versions in that it's only available as a named user license. This means that the license is assigned to an individual user and they're the only person who can use that license. And this does include SOLIDWORKS and all the other included cloud programs as well. As of the making of this video, a new user can be assigned once every 30 days if needed. This license is also term-based, meaning that it must be renewed on a quarterly or an annual basis. And technically, there are some caveats and creative options for the licensing aspect of SOLIDWORKS Ultimate, and the details here tend to change pretty quickly. So reach out to your reseller or the 3D Swim communities for more information if you need it. Last but certainly not least, how do you know if SOLIDWORKS Ultimate is worth the investment? The basic strategy we recommend is to review the roles and apps included with Ultimate and determine which of them would make a meaningful difference to you or your organization. If the combined price of those roles you need exceeds the difference in cost between SOLIDWORKS Premium and Ultimate, then you'll be getting a discount and a bunch of extra tools by switching to Ultimate. Of course, prices change, and what's included with Ultimate now will also likely change over time. For some, the differences between the 3D experience and desktop versions or licensing requirements will also affect this decision. So whether Ultimate is worth it really does come down to your unique situation. SOLIDWORKS Ultimate is a pretty impressive package of design, analysis, manufacturing, technical documentation, and collaboration tools with some unique browser-based capabilities. If you yourself are a power user, or if you manage a team with power users who need to be able to do everything, SOLIDWORKS Ultimate might ultimately be the answer. Thank you all so much for watching. And if you learned something from this video, I'd just like to remind you that we do have hundreds of other lessons and courses covering just about every SOLIDWORKS subject in existence. Until next time, thanks for watching What's New in SOLIDWORKS.